it's not that that sound is inside your head it's not that that sound is inside your eardrums but rather it feels as though you are, you are inside that sound <laughs> This is the kind of sound of Om that we hear through our ears. According to the Tantric tradition, Yogic tradition, Vedic tradition, this is the external dimension of external aspect of sound Om. In the Indian philosophy, and metaphysics. Om is described as akshara, indestructible sound of infinity. And it is a sound that describes the perfect stillness of the universe, where all the forces, all the energies and all the vibratory patterns of matter are at a completely uh, in a complete state of equanimity that sound however of om is experienced when we reach a state of absolute samadhi the kind of sound that we hear upon pronouncing it that sound represents just the external aspect of the sound of Om. In Indian philosophy, the sound Om is technically called Pranava, P R A N A V A. Pranava means that which is ever new, ever fresh, that never ages, that never goes through any transmutation, that which is eternity in constance. But the same sound of Om has another form of or another kind of eternity. That is called eternity in flux, eternity in continuous change. So, there are two kinds of eternity that is conveyed by the sound Om. This is the state and here is exactly that is what Om is all about. Om has four states and that those four states are described by its uh, four different components A, U and Ma and silence that follows Ma. But what is important to know here that the sound of Om that we hear one sound Om, 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 Om. Om, 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 om. All these are simply outward expression and they hardly represent the truth that is contained in Om. You know? One sound of Om, which may last, let us say, for 10 seconds, can be chopped into 10 million, 10 billion, or even 10 trillion pieces, and still each piece is perfect Om. It is in this respect Om sound is said to be Akshara, that which never deteriorates. What yogis say that when you start paying attention to the inner, the process of your inner journey, then you realize that there is a amazing space inside you, that space is filled with a particular vibration and that vibration is somewhat similar to the reality that you are aware of. Then you go little deeper 
by practicing yoga the process that leads us to experience samadhi then you go little deeper then there comes a time when this whole feeling and idea of time and space also vanishes but when you are going inward then you hear much deeper sound and somewhat like it's not that that sound is inside your head it's not that that sound is inside your eardrums but rather it feels as though you are inside that sound